What's up guys, Sean Nalawani here. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I last uploaded a video. Reason being that I've been really hard at work here, uh, kind of behind the scenes, uh, not just for the past few weeks, but actually for the past year and a half uh, on a new project that I just completed that I wanted to quickly talk about here uh, before I go back to putting out my regular informative videos. Now, anyone who follows my content, uh, whether it's uh, here on YouTube or over on my blog, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, you guys know that I've been very outspoken when it comes to the supplement industry. Okay, I genuinely believe that probably 90 to 95 percent of bodybuilding and fitness supplements are basically complete BS. And if they're not complete BS, even then they're still not useful enough to be worth your money. And there are a lot of different reasons for that, um, which I've talked about many times in my past videos. Um, ineffective ingredients that aren't backed by legit research. Keep in mind that only a very small percentage um, of muscle building and fat burning compounds are actually supported by real scientific studies. And most of them, no matter how convincing the advertisements might seem, most of them will actually do very little to absolutely nothing for you. Um, even when research-backed compounds are used, uh, they're usually underdosed, so you don't end up getting a useful amount of each one anyway. Uh, most supplements are uh, promoted with excessive marketing hype that way over-exaggerates their benefits. Uh, they're usually overpriced uh, for what they are. And then on top of all those things, um, you've also got other obstacles to deal with, like uh, proprietary blends, there's blatant label fraud, low quality manufacturing. It's really just a mess out there in the industry for lack of a better word. And as a result of that, um, a lot of people, especially beginners, but even more experienced lifters too, um, they end up being misled. They end up wasting their time and money along the way and they lose focus on the essentials of what it takes to build a great physique, which is of course proper training and nutrition. Now, with that being said, um, if you do follow my content regularly, then you also know that even though most of what's out there supplement wise is best avoided, uh, there are still a select few supplements that I've consistently recommended over the years um, that are backed by good supportive research and that can be used as an optional add-on to maximize your results um, if and only if you use them in conjunction with a solid training and nutrition plan. Now, they are by no means going to you know, boost your gains into the stratosphere. They're not gonna take the place of hard work in the gym by any means, um, but they can help to improve the overall convenience of your program and just give you a small extra boost in terms of training performance and overall long-term results in general. Uh, high quality protein powder, creatine monohydrate, uh, fish oil, multivitamin, and certain pre-workout compounds. Those are sort of the, uh, the basics that I personally use and that I've been recommending in my previous videos and my articles. Now, one question uh, or one request that I was regularly getting from my readers um, and my viewers here on YouTube was whether or not I would consider putting out my own brand of those few products that I do genuinely believe in. And this was something that uh, I went back and forth on quite a bit. Um, I did put out a few supplements quite a few years back, uh, but ultimately discontinued them, uh, mainly for financial reasons because I just wasn't really prepared at that time for everything that was involved with running a supplement line. Uh, but yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was something I wanted to do. I wasn't sure um, even if there would be much of a market for it uh, because when you promote supplements using a really straight up, honest approach, um, it's not gonna be anywhere near as exciting um, or as flashy as the, uh, the usual hyped up approach that pretty much all the big companies use. But ultimately, um, back probably around early 2017, I decided that even if this did only appeal to a much smaller crowd, you know, people who aren't looking for a quick fix, people who have a solid training plan in place and who understand the role that supplements play in the overall scheme, and if it did provide some good value to my viewers, and if it did have a positive impact on the industry in general, just by helping them move people away from the typical junky products that they were regularly buying, then in the end, I figured that it was worthwhile. So with that said, I wanted to let you guys know that after a year and a half of very hard work on this, uh, you know, a ton of long hours, research, testing, tweaking, that Real Science Athletics has launched today. The website is live over at realscienceathletics.com. Uh, the link is down in the description box and you can also click up here as well. Um, and we've got three clean, simple, research-backed, properly dosed products available, okay? A pre-workout, a multivitamin, and a fish oil. So three supplements 
that I use and have been recommending for a long time. And I really honestly believe that these are the optimal choices in these specific product categories right now in terms of striking the right balance between effectiveness, but also simplicity and price. You know, there's a lot of companies out there who uh, market themselves as being honest and science-based and for the people, but when it really comes down to it, they're still putting unnecessary ingredients in their formulas, they're still overpriced, um, they're still using shady marketing tactics. So my goal here is to really do this the right way and live up to the name of the brand, which is real science, okay? No BS, no gimmicks. Uh, the margins on these products are a lot lower than most other supplements. Um, I didn't cut any corners here with production, so um, the costs on our end are a lot higher. I'm by no means gonna be making a huge profit on each sale, uh, but the goal here is to sort of play the bigger picture game and think longer term with this. Now, I know there are gonna be some immediate reactions down in the comments sections. Oh my God, you're selling supplements, how could you? Guys, keep in mind that this is all fully in line and fully consistent with my previous recommendations and with my ethics. These are the same supplements I've been personally um, using in my own program and that I've been recommending to you guys for years, um, even when they were different brands that I wasn't making anything from. And these are very high quality and affordable versions of those supplements that I really think improve on um, most, if not all of the current ones that you'll find out there. Now you can find all of the uh, exact details behind each product on the website. Um, I don't want this video to go on for too long. I don't wanna turn this into some sort of uh, big infomercial here, but I'll just give you a quick rundown of each one here uh, before I close the video out. So the first one is Pure Form. Um, this is our pre-workout. This is a very simple, straightforward formula that gives you four solid ingredients backed by research in their proper doses. Okay, you're getting six grams of citrulline malate, three grams of L-tyrosine, 200 milligrams of caffeine, and 200 milligrams of L-theanine per scoop. Um, so this is just a good, well-rounded combination to optimize your workout quality in terms of strength, energy, and focus without going unnecessarily overboard. You don't need eight, 10, uh, you know, 12 different ingredients in a pre-workout. That's just total overkill. And it's even potentially unsafe if you're doing it um, over the long term and using it often. And you also don't need to spend 40 or 50 bucks a month on your pre-workout either. So Pure Form is much more affordable. It's designed to just give you the key ingredients that work with no proprietary blends, no fillers, um, no heavy stimulants. Um, and as an added bonus, it's also 100% uh, naturally sweetened and naturally flavored as well. Not that moderate amounts um, of artificial sweeteners are necessarily harmful, but more and more people are wanting those natural alternatives nowadays. And I had pulled my audience on uh, Facebook and Instagram previously, and the majority voted for the natural version. And so that's just um, the route that we decided to go with this. Second one here is Microcore. This is our multivitamin. And the reason it has this name is because the goal here is to just give you the core micronutrients that you actually need the ones that a high percentage of people, especially people who are training hard in the gym, uh, tend to be a bit lower on, or those micronutrients that have certain benefits when you take them in slightly higher amounts. Um, after doing a lot more research on this over the years, I've come to the conclusion that traditional uh, full spectrum multivitamins are not gonna be the ideal choice in most cases for the simple reason that you just don't need to be supplementing with every single uh, vitamin and mineral out there. Um, especially if you're already following a decent diet. It's not only gonna be unnecessary, but some micronutrients might even be harmful if you're taking too much of them over the long term. Um, and then on top of that, most full spectrum multis out there also tend to be um, using the lower quality, less absorbable forms of a lot of the different ingredients and they underdose them as well to save on cost. So with Microcore, um, we're just focusing on the highest quality forms and the proper studied doses of the few select vitamins and minerals that are likely gonna benefit you. Um, and these are the same ones that I've talked about in a lot of my older videos. Um, vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, vitamin K, and there's also a basic B complex in there as well. Um, a lot of potential benefits um, associated with those in terms of just better overall performance, better recovery, energy, mental functioning, um, sleep, testosterone levels. It just kind of keeps the whole engine running more smoothly and it's gonna make sure that all of your micronutrient needs are being fully met. And then lastly is O3 Prime, which is our fish oil product. And this one here is in the reesterified triglyceride form, which is gonna be better absorbed than the regular ethyl ester or um, natural triglyceride forms that most people use. Um, this product has a very high concentration of EPA and DHA per gram, 
which are the specific fatty acids in fish oil that provide the benefits. Uh, benefits like uh, improving cardiovascular health, reducing inflammation, uh, improving cognitive function, and it can even have some modest direct effects in terms of optimizing muscle growth and fat loss um, over the long term. So unless you're eating fatty fish regularly throughout the week, uh, then a fish oil supplement uh, will make sure that your EPA and your DHA levels are falling into the ideal daily range. Most people's uh, levels don't fall into the ideal range and the average person in the West only gets about 10 to 20 percent um, of the recommended amount per day. So those are the three products. They're all produced in a CGMP certified facility. It's a bit more expensive to go that route, uh, but it basically guarantees that you're getting the purest raw ingredients and the highest quality processing available, uh, which is obviously really important. And it's not something that um, I would wanna compromise on just for the sake of higher margins. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you do wanna give any of these a try, you know, support Real Science Athletics, that's great. If not, that's totally cool too. Uh, the message here is gonna be the same no matter what moving forward. Nothing on the channel is gonna change in terms of content. Um, supplements are not a must in order to get great results. Um, they're just an optional add-on that you can use if you do have the extra money and if you wanna get that little extra edge both in and out of the gym. Uh, but if you do, this is something that uh, I've worked extremely hard on over the past uh, year and a half. Very proud of the end result. And I can honestly say that I would recommend these products even if they weren't my own. So realscienceathletics.com if you do wanna check it out. And I will talk to you guys again soon with more regular informative content. Thanks for watching.